Well, hello there, Taurus. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today, we are going to be doing your December 2023 Tarot reading. We're specifically looking, to at this important time between December 12th and January 1st, where we're dealing with a Mercury retrograde, the 1212 portal, which helps us to reassess where we are in our life and what we would like to bring into our life in the new year ahead, and also that new moon in Sagittarius, um, which is such a strong energy of wanting more adventure, expansion in our life. So we'll take a look at how all of those astrological things are um, also affecting you. We'll um, begin by taking a look at the overall energy with the animal spirit card, and then we'll go to the tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path or advice that spirit has for you. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what we have here. Are you have the white stag protector. So this is the white stag um, spirit and it says you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. And you know this time of year you know especially in the northern hemisphere where you know we're turning into that snowy season the magical season that we are in and there is something very magical about you at this time Taurus um, understanding that your your gifts your talents your creative ability even your spiritual essence about yourself your aura your light your love are shining brightly at this time and it is really a powerful force that is within you that can help you to create the magical experiences <laughs> that you are wanting in your life so it's understanding that at this time you are truly manifesting any of the magic that you are wanting to show up in your reality that by keeping your thoughts positive uh, believing this is the season of believing believing in magic right um, just believing that you are creating the magical <laughs> reality that you are truly wanting for yourself yes you are meant to create blessings with your magic and that is you know the theme that you have during this season look at this you have an orphan energy on the bottom but then look <laughs> you have the empress the chariot the four of wands i feel like for some of you you may feel a little bit orphaned forgotten you know kind of like a little bit of energy of i don't know perhaps 2023 hasn't brought me what i really and truly was hoping for um wanting more magic to be in your life and having a hard time seeing it come into reality for you but look at this energy that you also have right it's your own energy of feeling like you are not going to be able to acquire the magical blessings that you are looking for that are actually holding you back because with the empress of the chariot and the four of wands this is seeing the success that you are wanting in your life claiming victory and <laughs> moving forward having this progress and then the empress is that beautiful divine feminine energy that is within all of us about creating the magical life that we are wanting you know the empress is all four queens <laughs> put together you know um having that magical existence in your your work in your career in your financial status in the people that are in your life that you love and cherish you it's just being able to have everything that you really and truly want. And the Empress knows that she deserves everything that she wants. She doesn't settle for second best. And I feel like for some of you, if you are at this time kind of feeling like you may just have to settle for second best, I really encourage you <laughs> to believe in yourself, to believe in the universe. Know that the divine is trying to bring in those magical um, opportunities, relationships that you have been wanting. And even though we only have a few weeks left of 2023, to not believe that it still is possible for you. Wow, what a beautiful message. So let's go to your present energy. Yeah, look at this. Okay, when you open your heart and really 
Become truthful with yourself about what it is that you are wanting to create. For some of you, it could be that you have been kind of teetering back and forth about what it is that you really and truly want. You may have been second guessing yourself. Um, uh, almost to the point where you are that's you know kind of settling for second best energy is coming back this is being truthful with yourself what is it that you truly want and then are you showing up for it consistently are you putting your energy forward towards what it is that you are wanting to attract in for yourself or are you kind of like hedging your bets <laughs> it's a little bit of allowing yourself to be truthful with yourself. I'm going all in. I'm putting all of my time and energy into the basket, right, of what it is that I truly desire. Because when you do, you have the six of pentacles. And this is the energy of windfalls, magical windfalls coming in onto your path, right? The magical blessings that you have been holding out for are definitely on your way. The Six of Pentacles is the energy of, you know, the universe sending you something here. <laughs> Even in the last couple of weeks of um, 2023. And I know it's hard because right now we're in a Mercury retrograde. You know, sometimes those Mercury retrogrades can be difficult in finding the progress that we are wanting okay but here's the thing mercury retrogrades also bring us the opportunities from the past that maybe we sidestepped for one reason or another or we didn't take you know advantage of an opportunity in the past sometimes it also brings around those people or situations that we have been holding out for and once they come back into our life we also realize no that's really not what i want you know it can be finding that clarity about what your heart truly wants even if you thought you wanted something and now you're recognizing, no, that's not what I really and truly want for myself. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Yeah. Something you're having to have the courage to end something. Okay. And perhaps um, a dream that you thought was yours. Okay, so once again, that could be, you know, especially with the Mercury retrograde, you could have something, somebody coming back from the past. And because I'm going to say we have the Six of Cups here, right? Um, so you could have somebody coming back from the past, but when they come back in, it's almost like you get this clarity with the queen of swords energy you get this clarity that they're not necessarily who you want in your life understanding that you have worked hard to get your independence to be free perhaps of burdens of obstacles that have left you draining right that you're ready to step into this <laughs> new world of truly following your heart and uh, and allowing people and situations that come in that are in alignment with what it is that you truly want you have the ace of cups something that you have been waiting for for a very long time yeah six of cups again i feel like that for some of you this is either a situation or a relationship from the past that is kind of resurfacing at this time and you are having clarity about what it is that this person or situation has in has in store for you or what it is that they are coming in to offer now i'm going to say with the king of wands okay there's two different things for some of you i feel like you're understanding that you are truly a spiritual teacher the king of wands can represent your own essence within you that you realize that your light and love is calling you to go forward and to be independent to go your own direction to be the trailblazer that you are in order to share your light your love your wisdom your insight with other people as a spiritual teacher so that could be starting your own business or a side business starting a youtube channel <laughs> um you know whatever uh reiki tarot anything mystical that you are thinking about you know exploring more of um, or sharing your gifts with other people for some of you that is your truth and that is what you are going to step into for others of you if this is a person returning from the past especially a romantic person uh, returning from the past the king of wands can represent somebody that's not truly committed to somebody else 
King of Wands is very independent, okay? And with this um, Nine of Pentacles here, right? I feel like you have worked hard to gain your independence Perhaps while this person, while you were separated from this person or perhaps just distanced a little bit from this person. For some of you, you've gained your own independence. And what you're recognizing is that you don't want somebody to come in that has their own agenda. You're enjoying having your own life, spending time creating the life that you want for yourself with this Empress energy, right? Beautiful energy of recognizing I feel like if somebody's coming back from the past or a situation is coming back from the past, you're really asking yourself, is this truly in alignment with what I want for myself? And not getting caught up in maybe the emotional aspect of a past dream of this person returning and returning to a life that you once had with them. Yes, because your obstacle here <laughs> is chop wood and then the three of swords. I think this person from the past, especially if it's a king of wands, does not have to be a fire sign, but could be. But somebody that kind of like... It was very independent in their own life. And Taurus, you can be highly independent yourself, right? But this is somebody that can sometimes say or do the right things in order to keep us in their life, but they don't necessarily they aren't necessarily committed to us. Okay, and I feel like that's what you're kind of recognizing is that you have to eliminate people and situations that are not supportive are not committed to you and what it is that you want for yourself doesn't mean that they're dedicating their whole life to you right <laughs> but it is that energy of recognizing i really and truly am holding out for what is in alignment with what i want for myself and i love this energy i truly love this energy of you know having the courage once again to end situations or relationships that are not in alignment with what it is that you truly want for yourself i think you have worked hard <laughs> to gain your independence taurus and i know from previous readings throughout the year you have had a sense of obligation perhaps to a certain person or family members thinking that if you stuck with it, things would change. They may change. They may change their mind or they they may start to understand your perspective of the situation. I think what you're doing here is seeing clearly, okay, that they're not willing to really and truly change who they are because they're that king of wands. They have their own agenda. They have their own trail to blaze. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, I think you've been holding out. Your obstacle here is that you're really and truly attached to believing that this situation is going to balance out for you. Understanding that sometimes when we finally allow ourselves to let the dream of something coming back together um, be put part into the past, right? It can bring up this energy of feeling abandoned, rejected, um, feeling as if we're not going to get what we truly want. But when we allow it to end, okay, and you have the world card here and the death card, understanding that this chapter has to close in your life so that you can bring in these new magical blessings onto your path. It is really hard because, you know, especially if it's like a family member or a romantic connection, unplugging our energy from somebody else's, even though, and you know, this would be somebody that was really important in your life that you could have really thought was the person for the rest of your life. And in the end, something happens. So they may have changed. You may have risen to a higher level. You can't bring back the energy of the past into this connection because it's like too much of water has gone under the bridge. And when that occurs, we can't go back to what we had before. Understanding that if you go back to this person, you're not returning to the good times. You're actually... You're actually allowing yourself to return to something that will only bring you more heartache, okay? So it's 
it's I'm moving forward and <laughs> going forward in the direction that is best for me and really not allowing me, um, any distractions, right? You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. I would really spend a lot of time in nature, you know, allowing yourself to have that distance from this person, even if it's just their memory that's popping up at this time, right? Especially around the holidays, we can sometimes have the memory of people that we have shared the holidays with before in the past. Those memories come up and then sometimes we're wanting to return to something that really isn't in alignment with who we are and where we're going. So let's take a look at your advice. Yeah, you have a, <laughs> a message in a bottle and the Six of Cups. I think this person is really and truly thinking of you if you've been thinking a lot about this person it could be that's because you're picking up on their energy that they're trying to reach out to you I feel like this is you know a message of kind of like getting yourself prepared for something from the past and once again it could just be the memory of good times with this person that is coming up yeah I feel like this is just a message of you know um, tempering <laughs> your energy, um, but also understanding that you're not seeing this person isn't coming in and giving you clarity about how they feel. Um, that you know they're they're coming in with a little bit of an illusion. So what they say may not match what how they truly feel. Um, and therefore, it's kind of like understanding if you decide because you have free will to talk to this person or to re-engage with this person or even to, you know, reconcile this person to go very, very slow because the illusion is here. There's a lot of illusion. They're not being completely forthright with you let's go back to that King of Wands. The King of Wands can be somebody that'll tell you what you want to hear. Okay, and it'll tell you what you want to hear in order to get you back into their lair. <laughs> Let's put it that way, right? And it's about keeping your, <laughs> your nose down and staying focused. Remember, this was all about staying focused. Don't allow the distractions to distract you from the blessings, from the alignment, from the path that you are wanting for yourself. Stay working on your Empress energy, trying to create the life that you really and truly want for yourself. And don't let this person or the memory of this person to distract you from where it is that you are really wanting to go. I feel like the Mercury retrograde <laughs> could really be um, kind of powerful for you, Taurus, at this time. So um, just staying focused, staying focused, spending time in nature, Okay, believing that your your blessings are on the way. Okay, sometimes we can start falling back into those old patterns or going back to old relationships or situations from the past that at one time were joyful. Okay, um, when the new hasn't yet arisen in our life, we can't see it in the 3D. It's about keeping your energy posted towards the future, where it is that you are wanting to go and allowing this person or this situation to go away, um, to, you know, allow yourself to distance yourself from it because you're only going to get more of the same. All right, let's pull this old truth card for you. And Taurus, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. How does my body want to move today? Oh, this is a really good one. Yes, when we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? Yes, and you know, one of the things is, is that when we move our body, we really do raise our vibration. When you're kind of like thinking about this person or they reach out to you, it's about go for a walk in nature, right? Or <laughs> turn on some music that you love and dance to it. Do anything to get your body moving. Because one of the things is, is that when we get nostalgic like this, we can actually kind of like just sit right and to kind of like get into that daydreamy type of energy or something but this is um advice from spirit to keep on moving keep on thinking about the future when you keep your vibration high those new things that you are wanting to come onto your path 
will come in much more quickly. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you so much love and light. I really appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.